Well, good morning, Lawn Land. What's going on? It's your boy, Matt MG. So I've been talking about this X mark. Yeah, about that X mark. Ha! Let's check it, right? Let's check it. Oh. There she is. Got the flap installed on it. All the bells and whistles. 38 horsepower Kohler. This electronic shit, it's all right. Not really wild about it. I'd honestly rather have the throttle um, stick, I guess you could call it a lever. But I'm not complaining, man. This thing is so fast. It cuts great. It's a beast. I only got uh, 3.7 hours on it. So I'm going to really run it today, get it to 10 hours, do the brake in oil change. That seat, dude, that seat is fucking awesome. Got this big ass cooler. thing fucking screams and then we got the right I mean you can't compare the two you can't compare a 10,000 mower to a 21 5,000 dollar mower but I still like the right the right's my still go to for the little fronts of the yards just needed this for all the acreage I've been picking up big fields gonna get my wife on it so yeah, I had her on it yesterday a little bit on her one commercial property. She did pretty good, man. Did pretty good. Still learning. Inside. But dude, I'm super psyched. It's nice to have two mowers again. Not stoked about the price, but it is what it is. What are you going to do, right? Got to have two mowers. So. Fuck yeah, I'm pumped. Glad I put this 5,000 pound axle on the trailer too with brakes. Cause you can really feel the second mower on here, especially this X mark. This X mark's fucking heavy. It's like 13, 1,300 pounds compared to the right's like 900. So, but yeah, it's the uh, Laser Z X series, 60 inch cut. Let's go. Let's see if I can get some footage today of cutting. I got a pretty busy day, so I don't know. We'll see. But I just wanted to show you guys I wasn't bullshitting. Here we go. All right, guys, what's going on? Matt with MG Lawn and Landscape. All loaded up and ready to go for the day. Got to make a couple stops real quick before I get on some turf. Just figured I'd give you some average chuck in a truck talk. You know, you know how we do. Two truck, two trailer, two mower, chucks in the trucks, baby, let's go. Yeah, yeah, so I'm really pumped about this mower. Wasn't my first choice. I would have preferred the ZK, the right ZK 61. Um, I said this before many times, I'm over sitting. I mean, that's got that Cadillac seat on it and shit. I just don't like sitting, man. It makes me lazy. <clears throat> Getting on and off of it kind of fucking sucks, but that's just me. Now, my wife's coming with me. That mower's for her. So I got a bunch of acreage nowadays. Just big, wide open fields. And that shit pays. But anyway, I prefer to stand. Um, the reason we went with the X mark is just because if you never rode a zero turn before, you're going to have a harder time with a standard for real. I mean, I've been riding these X marks for 14 plus years, and when I got on that standard, yeah, you wouldn't, you wouldn't have thought I mowed before, but. So it's just a lot easier to learn on the zero turn. And 
plus the wife, the wife wanted to sit, so, you know, she's the boss. <laughs> Whatever she says goes, right? But, uh, <clears throat> I'm telling you, man, she's, she's killing it. We've been on this commercial property. It takes me five hours with the 52, one mower gone. And, uh, she's been coming out with me and push mowing these islands they're not even curbed they go straight to asphalt she's been push mowing for four hours just to save time while i'm out doing these big ass fields with my little 52 i mean that's she's a fucking trooper and uh i don't know how many else how many how many other of your wives would come out with you and do that shit but i tell you what man she's dedicated and, and we're a team you know i couldn't I couldn't do this without her, for one, for the, the invoicing, the paperwork, and all that bullshit, because I don't do that, and I'm not an office person, you know, that's just not for me, I don't have the patience for it, so she does all that stuff, and now she's coming out in the field, you know, three days a week with me, I tell you what, she's no TQ with the trimmer, but she's getting there, man, so... <clears throat> kudos to her and I'm very appreciative of that so that's why I make, pulled the trigger on the X mark I'm going to get her out on these big ass fields and uh, you know I'll do all the tedious shit and it's not even just for the commercial part you know I got a bunch of bunch of big houses that have acres and I'll, I'll put her out in the back fields and I'll take the front yards and we'll be able to cut her time in half you know, time is money in and out be making more money because I'm making great money now by myself with just one mower going so I can I mean it's just gonna total game changer as far as having two mowers going with two people um, super pumped proud of myself and proud of her you know I came a long way from just having the little cargo trailer and it's just I don't know it's, it's it's awesome watching it all unfold because I'm progressing. I'm obviously doing something right. I'm making a good living, buying new equipment. It's just a good feeling, you know? Like I said, it's it ain't hard out here to make money. Well, it's hard to make money if you don't know what you're doing. And that's the truth. If you're under under quoting yards you're not going to make money and you're not going to have a good time I'm just saying but the money's out here and it's easy man it, it really is it's, it's all mental it's all mental it's not hard running these mowers you know the heat will get to you that's about it it's the other shit like the mulching and the pruning and the cleanups that's the stuff that that's hard on you but you know that shit pays a lot better too but there is great money in cutting grass for the amount of labor you have to do and that's facts so as long as you're smart with your money buying the right equipment to make things easier and faster you'll be all right out here so I don't know, man. I'm digging it. I'm digging it. I'm pumped for the season. Everything's going great. Knock on wood. Stays that way. This mower is just balling. I'm, I'm super pumped. I got, I got uh, six big places to do today. Um, kind of hard fucking filming when you don't have a GoPro using the phone is kind of a pain in the ass but I'll see if I can get some footage of cutting this one property it's beautiful it's big show you some X mark stripes so uh, one thing is here I gotta run up to my dealer I wasn't thinking I was just so <clears throat> excited about getting this mower the other day I didn't get I didn't get an oil filter for it for the break-in oil change I got 3.7 hours on it now so today I should be able to get it up to the 10 hour mark and I'll do the break in oil change on her and 
go from there. So I'm whipping into my dealer right now. And uh, like I said, see if I can get some footage. And uh, you know, guys out there, have a good day. Be smart, be efficient, be careful. And better yet, have fun. Have fun making that money. Don't be a Debbie Downer or else your day is going to suck. Stay positive and want to be out here. So, all right, y'all, kick it. the day out hit the break in hour mark we're getting the oil changed let her drain out and get her filled back up and then I have to do the oil change on the X mark this is the sucker boom here's where you hook up to your air compressor hose there boom so fuck yeah all right so that concludes this video you guys have a good one